today I am doing the Snapchat pics my makeup from TikTok. I know it's annoying me too, but there's nothing I can do about it. I wish I could, but there's nothing I can. Okay, it's annoying me too. I really hate it. And we can all just be like annoyed together about this stupid piece of little dead skin on my nose. Which, oh my god. Of course I do this. Of course I do this. Sorry, sorry. But we're just going to have to move on. Okay, great. I think that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I messaged a few of my friends and they have answered me back and I'm just gonna pick a few to do today because otherwise this will take me literally like three days to film um so if I'll I'll do a part two with the rest of them which the ones I've been looking at myself the whole time oh my god <laughs> but I've picked the ones that I thought would be fun oh that sounds really bad sounds like the other ones aren't fun that's not what I mean I just picked three, okay? I just picked three and decided that those were three I wanted to do. Let's just get into it. <laughs> okay, I'm actually like really happy today. And I'm, uh, it was like great. Okay, so this is the first one I wanted to do and I really liked the color combo, but I'm not quite sure if I meant to like blend them together or like just do straight stripes. Yeah, I think I might stick to like stripes and like make it a cool like wing shape. So this is the first one I'm gonna do. That was really weird. I'll show you them all now. Why not? The second one's this one. Um, I think she wants me to do black lips and not just a weird black squiggle. <laughs> um, the eyes. I'm not quite sure what she wants me to do there. Should I just do do exactly what she's actually? drawn on or should I do like wings of the different greens but like connect them in the middle and then do a squiggle I think I might do that I'm just going to interpret it how I feel and the last one I thought was like is really cool I really like it it's like this blue and white sort of like flame thing and when I saw it I was like oh, I definitely want to do that so <laughs> okay Let's just get started with the first one. Let's just get, let's just go into the video. Let's just get started. Let's get into it. So let's just get straight into the first look. Okay, so for the purple, I don't have any like purple paints or anything. And I could make one, but like, why not just use like a shimmery purple eyeshadow instead? So I'm gonna use this one here because it's more purple than that one. In her picture, it looks like a round, but I don't think that looks good on me. Should I just do it round? I think I should wing it out. I think it'll look better. Okay, so now that we have the purple on the lid, I've sort of created like a little wing sort of shape. On the edge, I don't know if you can tell, and it just gives my eyes a bit more shape um, rather than looking like super round. Now I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put the, gr the green on and then go in with white last just to do a perfect like little line. So I'm just gonna be using these Ben Nye paints. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to like even that up with like some concealer, maybe even like a smaller brush to really define it. But I'm gonna go to the other eye. So I'm also gonna go and set this and then I'll be back. So now that I've got the green and purple down, I'm now gonna go ahead with some white Ben Nye paint and I'm going to do um, a line in between the two shades. Just like that and I'm also gonna have to put some powder on that so it doesn't transfer because these paints don't dry down okay so I have done the white and I do they're not really like that even which kind of sucks 
They look very different. I should really try and change it. Shouldn't I? Oh, but do I want to? No, I don't want to because I'm tired. Okay, so now I'm going to. I'm just. I've decided I'm just going to leave it like this and add some mascara. I unfortunately don't have any lashes at the moment, so I won't be adding any of them. And then I'm going to put on like a nice light pink nude lip because she didn't include a lip in the photo. And so let's do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and highlight the inner corners with this colour here. It's a nice bright white. I'm just going to go in with this pinky nude on my lips, just using my finger just to like add a little bit of colour. It's not really meant to look like I'm wearing a lipstick, so... Okay, so this is the finished look. I tried to keep them as even as possible um, without it taking five hours um, of me just fiddling with it. So, this is the first look. I'll pop up the picture next to me so you can have a proper look. What are we thinking? Are we thinking it's good? I think it's good. Okay, so now I'm going to wash this off and... I'll be back with the next look. So I'm now going to be doing the second look, which is this cool, like, bloom, bloom, blue and white, um, sort of flamey thing. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to start off with the blue. The blue I'm going to use is darker than the one in the photo, but it's just going to have to do, okay? Okay. So I'm going to start under the eye. I think I'm just going to fill in the whole thing. This is actually really cool. I don't really know what I've really done, but that's actually so cool. I, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do the other eye. Maybe I could just do like a cool blue smoky eye and have this cool thing. I think I might do that because that might be a lot easier. Especially if I'm doing three looks. And I'm terrible at making things symmetrical, so. Okay, let's do the white. Okay, and then I'm going to do like the last little blue flame thing. Okay, so I think I've got some blue on my lower lash line here, where there's not meant to be, so I'm going to have to clean that up. I'm also going to have to set all this, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now while that's like setting, I'm going to start on the other eye. And I'm not doing the same thing. I decided I'm just going to do like a blue sort of smoky eye and I might do like a white wing or something. So I'm just going to start with the paint and just pack that on the... Not pack that, but just put some on the eyelid. As I was saying, I I'm just put that blue also along with the lower lash line and did a little point. I'll even up the points later. Um, but I'm now just gonna blend the edges with a clean, fluffy brush. I feel like that looks pretty cool. I'm also just gonna go ahead and set all that. I 
And now I've decided that I want my eyelashes to be white because I think it'll be really cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I don't actually know if this paint's eye safe or not, so do this at your own risk, please. So this is the finished look of this one. How are we feeling? Here's the photo compared to it. I actually really like it. I feel like a superhero. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go film some TikToks, take some photos, and then I'll be back to do the last and final look. I feel like I've been here for like six hours already. Okay, so it is finally time for the final look. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for like five hours. My eyes are like really sore from taking the makeup off and putting makeup on. And there's still like blue, there's like blue in my waterline. And like my vision's kind of blurred because the makeup got in my water, in my eye. I'm about to cry. Where's my phone? Okay, so the last look is this green and black look with some beautiful black lips. Looks like it has two different colour greens, which means I'm going to have to mix colours. We love mixing colours. <laughs> Not really. Anyways, um, so let's just get started. Okay. I love a black lip though. I love it. I'm just going to use the green I have in here and then I've also mixed a lighter green so I think I'm going to go dark on the bottom and light on the top. Hers is more like a bluey green and a greeny green <laughs> um, but really but I'm just going to do a dark green and a light green and I'm going to start with the dark green along the lash line. Now I'm going to take the light green and go through the crease but like in a squiggly sort of pattern I guess. Um, I'm going to take that off and come back. Okay, now that I've fixed that, I'm going to go and just do a normal like cut crease sort of like flicks line with the light green. Oh my gosh, that is so messy. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> basically, if you're wondering how I ever fix any makeup problem, I basically just use concealer to erase all my problems. I'm now gonna do the black like squiggly line, which is probably gonna ruin everything. Okay, I'm gonna set that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I wanna get rid of like the bluey sort of tint in my waterline. So I'm just gonna go and put some black in the waterline. I'm also then gonna put some of the lower lash line as well. Then I'm gonna go in with some black eyeshadow. And now I'm gonna sweep that powder away and put some mascara on. While the mascara is drying, let's put our black lips on. <laughs> I feel like I didn't do too bad with that application. I do wish I had some lashes on though. 
Okay, so this is the final finished makeup look for this video today. Um, here's the picture it was based off. What do you think? Anyways, um, it's been fun guys. It's been a fun day of filming. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a massive thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!